if you want um, to be able to get the weekly worksheets and things like that, you just go to the link in my profile and you'll get it. Hello, everybody. I think we're live on all three platforms. So we're live on Instagram, we're live on YouTube, and we're live on Facebook all at the same time. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And tonight, today, what we're doing, it's Tuesday. So every Tuesday, I do a new quilt block. And today, we're going to do the bow tie quilt block, which is a self-care quilt block. And to this week, we're focusing all about women's health and doing self-care for ourselves as we are going along in our lives because so often we don't do self-care enough. So anyways, we have a three camera view here for YouTube and for um, Facebook, but for Instagram, you'll just have the one camera view. So you can see right here, you can see my camera that's pointing on the sewing machine right here. And we've got some other, um, so we've got some camera angles on Facebook and YouTube that are a little bit more. So, but let's get started. So the pattern that we're using is the Live Well, Live Strong pattern. Um, it is the quilt right behind me, and it has 26 quilt blocks about health and wellness, and this week's quilt block is about self-care. So um, if you want to get, make sure that you're on the list, there's free worksheets that go with each block that's about the block topic. So you can see some of these um, worksheets that we have. If you want to be on the, um, the email list where I email you out these free worksheets, whether you've purchased the pattern or not, just go to Stitches Quilting to the Live Well, Live Strong pattern. Um, and there's a little opt-in that says, send me the weekly updates and emails and worksheets. So if you want to, go ahead and do that. But the block that we're going to be working on today is right here. And it is a traditional bow tie block, which is also a, um, it's a block that's about self-care. And that's what we're going to work on. The original quilt block in the quilt is actually made out of these Riley Blake fabrics. One is a blue blender and the other one is a blue solid that's called blueberry. So those are the two fabrics that we have. And we do have prizes that we're going to be giving away today. So we're going to be giving away some really fun pins for this week's giveaway that says Peace Heart Quilting. So they're just a really cute little pin, and I'll give you guys a better shot of this. Um, so anyway, so if you can share the video, let me know that you're here by making lots of comments so that I know that you guys are here. Oh, I see everybody. There's Dee Dee. There's Peggy. Look, you guys, does my voice match my speaking? That's what I'm curious about. Matt, can you switch us to the overhead view so I can show everybody what they're going to be winning today? So for the overhead view, what we're doing is I'm showing you guys how these are these little enamel pins that we're giving away. And this is what we're going to be doing. So I'll be shipping this. It, I ship around the world. I have an online little quilting boutique that has a lot of solids and things like that. And so that is what you'll find. So. Let's go ahead and go over what we did for this last couple weeks. We did the positive quilt block. I am actually doing a version in black and white. We did the mindful quilt block. So, and we have one that's in negative space. This was the regular positive quilt block. This is the leisure quilt block. These are the freedom quilt blocks right here. And I'm doing it in the original colors. And I'm doing an ombre one that is in the... So I'm doing a black and white, a peach, ombre, or whatever, and then the original colorways. So each week I'm actually making mine in a couple different colorways, which I'm really excited about because I cannot wait to see the negative space quilt. So let me show you guys the negative space quilt right here, but these are different colorways for the quilts, and this one is the negative space. So I really want to see this one completely sewn up. And I'm either going to do it in this um, in this coral ombre, or I'll be doing it in the black and white. So it's fun to see the quilt in so many different ways. So let's set this stuff aside because this week is self care. But there's all these other worksheets. So if there's a worksheet that you missed, um, be sure to just go in. I I set up a new um, block or a new email list, and I'm working with my email service. Um, I send out emails and I just really want to get very organized with that. 
Okay, any questions, you guys? Tell me where you're coming from. We went for some walks and walked the dogs today. It's looking beautiful here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm really excited about that. I've got comments coming in from Facebook and YouTube on the same feed. Hi, Dolores. Dolores is on YouTube. Yay. She's awesome. And um, so let's go ahead and talk about how to stitch together these blocks. So because what we're gonna do, let me go ahead and get the little design board here and we're gonna sew them like this. So we've got two blocks right here, and then we've got another two blocks right here. So it's almost like a four square quilt block. It's pretty simple, but in order to get the bow tie effect, we're going to put a little square here that's going to be triangled off. So you can see right here, so I've got four little, or two little squares here, sorry guys. I have more sitting there than I need, but I've got two little squares that we're gonna add to this, so then we get the bow tie effect of this quilt block, all right? So that's what that is for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine. So hi, Robin. Yes, the, the Freedom Worksheet is going out in just a minute, Robin, and it is so darling. I love the Freedom Worksheet, and it's all about having more freedom in your life. Thank you for asking that. So, um, and for those that have purchased the pattern, it will automatically email to you and the blog post too, so you can read additional things that, that are just in those worksheets. And then um, I'm gonna get caught up and self-care is gonna go out a lot quicker. Um, but I wanna show you a tip here that we're gonna do. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to use a pen or pencil is what I would prefer. And I'm gonna just draw a diagonal line right here on my, oh, Matt has a pencil. So Matt is here helping me with my lives especially now that we have the three camera view. For those of you guys on Instagram and Facebook, I did a story about what the camera setup looks like. And so you can see on the story, it's kind of elaborate, but um, maybe not. It's just, it takes a lot of tweaking to figure out how to do it, huh Matt? It does. We've been, we've been working on it really hard. So, and if, my, if you don't see that my voice is looking really good, let's go ahead and go over to camera number three, or um, can it still be purchased? Yes, purchase the pattern anytime you want to, but I'm gonna move you over um, Instagram to the sewing machine. So what I'm gonna do is just stitch right along this line, okay? So that when I fold this back, that it will be good. You can purchase the pattern anytime you want to. It's on the website. It's a downloadable pattern. I'm, I'm putting in an option where it can be uh, mailed to you or be downloaded because we do have some ladies that aren't used to downloaded patterns. So now what I'm gonna do is this one, yeah, it's on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this and I'm gonna stitch right across this little line that I did um, as close as I can or whatever but I'm gonna go ahead and get a good little stitch and I'm gonna string feed this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy these videos are working. So you can see the camera view. Did that go out of focus or anything? Nope, looks like it's still good. And then once again, we're gonna stitch right along this little pencil line right there on the, um, on the sewing machine. So I'm gonna lay this in and string feed these together. Okay, so let's go ahead, let me get that up. You guys, I'm able, I started wearing only one contact and I'm kind of figuring, my brain is still figuring out that I don't necessarily need reading glasses and I can still see far away and still see close up and everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead. So you can see what that looks like. I string fed these together and you can see that the stitching is just right along there. Let me go ahead and show this over to Instagram real fast. So Instagram is the one platform I can't stream live at the same time with Facebook and YouTube. 
So we just have the one camera view, but remember, share and, and everything, because we've got lots of these little enamel pins to send out to people. So we'll pick up some winners, and there's more people. If you guys wanna pop over to YouTube, you've got a better chance of winning. So please subscribe to me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, or wherever you guys like to be, whatever platform. But you, can, you, you definitely have more availability on YouTube, so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to, can we flip this to the, oh, you, you did. Matt already flipped me to the overhead view. Oh my gosh, Matt is like intuitive. He knows what I'm doing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off this excess fabric here, okay? So let me get my ruler so you can see that. And I'm gonna trim off a quarter of an inch from where my white stitch line is. Some people have asked me, and I've been using just white or a fill thread for this quilt. So there's that one trimmed. Now I'm gonna come over here and trim this one. And we're gonna go right like this, okay? Now I'm gonna actually, I have my little pressing mat instead of going over to the sewing machine. This is my little Cricut pressing mat, but I am gonna use a regular iron for this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and flip these over so that when we iron this back, gosh, some starch might be nice, but I don't usually starch on this pressing mat. How hot is this iron? Eh, it's plenty hot. Okay, here we go. All right, so there we are. That's looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and lay this up with the design board. Let's set aside, it's nice and warm over there. And we just did a, a pretty much a live video about the little Cricut Maker shoes that I did for baby Ellie, but I think I might do one more to get you guys a more complete video on that. So, cause uh, the, the cameras weren't quite working right. Okay, so you can see how I have that laid out on this, on this design board. So this is just a portable design board for me. And um, so now you can see it totally has that bow tie effect. You can see it totally has that bow tie effect. So let's go ahead and we're gonna flip this over here. And I'm gonna stitch this way. Of course, I have to remind myself so I don't accidentally stitch something wrong. And I'm going to stitch this this way, okay? So let's go ahead and go back over to the um, sewing machine view. And let's push this on here. You guys, I'm so excited. So this is our week of self-care. So let's talk about different ways that we can have self-care in our lives and take care of ourselves. So I know one goal for myself is to for sure set aside at least an hour every day of self-care. So that might just be laying upstairs on my bed and I let my kids know that I am having some self-care and some quiet time because I want them when they grow up to be adults to want to do self-care too. And I think it's just fine to let your kids know, hey, I'm taking my, uh, taking care of myself right now. I'm taking a time out. Everybody can just wait for an hour and mom is gonna do nothing or mom is gonna do something. I'm gonna read a book or whatever, but I need a break. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that back over to the design board right here. And maybe I'll switch this out. Let me just put the iron on, the ironing mat on top. So you can see here, I've, we've got this block. It's coming together. This is self-care, everybody. It feels so good. And self-care comes in many different forms. So self-care for some people might be going and getting their nails done. I'm gonna set my seams so my seams stay nice. It might be getting their nails done. It might be, um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and press these open. So let me go ahead and give that a little press right there. Oh, I gotta grip this silly iron. And let me do the same thing over here. I'm gonna flip this around so I can press it the, the direction I want. Um, so, but what are different ways that you can have self-care? Let me read some of these comments. You guys, give me some comments. Okay, we've got something. Um, you can't, um, oh, I, I didn't get that one. Matt, read me comments. I, I My contacts are still, um, oh good, the camera views are great. Thank you, you guys. Dee Dee, I know I'm working hard. Okay, so now all we do is we stitch these two together. 
So these two pigments, uh, segments right there, and you can see what a beautiful little bow tie block this is. And really, I did this as a bow tie block because what we're doing is we're giving ourselves a gift by, um, by doing self-care for ourselves. I mean, we really are. So what type of self-care or a break? I'm getting um, yelled for as I type. Oh, darn it, Sandra. Yeah, you need to, we have to let our families know this is our break. And because we want them to take those breaks too, don't we? So I'm going to go ahead and pin this because I want this seam to match in the center. So let me go ahead and show you this on the overhead view. So you can see here are my seam selvages. So no, we want to train our families to respect everybody's space. We want to train them to, to respect our space, to respect our kids' space too. If they say, hey, I need a time out and a break, everybody respect just a time out and break, just go somewhere to take it, right? If we can, coffee. Um, so someone say coffee and um, a Kindle makes for good self-care. So reading a book, um, I agree. Um, so there are lots of different forms of self-care. So I felt great as I took a walk today. Um, it just felt really wonderful. But we do, we as women tend to ca care for so many people. But if we are not taking care of ourselves, we are not going to be able to um, take care of others and be the person that we want to be or feel constantly frustrated and things like that. So we want to feel that peace. And I think that you will, as I have implemented and forced myself, okay, here we go. So I went ahead and I did my little block. I'm gonna set my seams. So we set our seams so that what happens is these seams kind of become one with the fabric. So you can set your seams and I love to press. I don't know about you guys, but I love to press because it makes such a difference to press. Whoops, I'm kind of pressing the wrong way. So you can see here, here's my self-care block. You can also press your seams open. So this might be a time where I press my little seams open right back here. Um, but um, I'm not gonna take the, the time to do that on live um, camera. So this is the self-care block. So let's go ahead and do the front, the camera number two, which is the front camera. So look at that, you guys. I need to actually now make two more of these blocks. I need to make two more and I need to do it in my black and white colorway, which I'm so excited to do. And it was so simple. So there is somebody, um, uh, Liz Boyce in Canada is actually making two of these quilts as she's doing it. We've got some other ladies that are making multiples of these quilts because they're going to leave it to their daughters. I had a woman just buy five kits. So you can buy the fabric as a kit. The key to forcing yourself is at first. You're right, you have to force yourself to have self-care, but then it becomes natural. And thank you. So someone just made that comment on Instagram. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, so that was Karen. I'm gonna need to put on my reading glasses to read some of these. So yeah, no, it's it's really important that we do that daily, daily self-care. Matt, do you see any comments over there? Oh, Matt increased the screen size so I can read it from over here. Matt is awesome, you guys. I am so happy to have Matt. Matt is also a caregiver for Luke. We have caregivers that come six days a week for Luke. And, um, and it's been a lot of fun. And Luke is reading, you guys. He's, he's 22. He's my disabled son. But he's reading books. He's on Dr. Seuss books right now. And we are having a blast. So, and I'll share more of that with you guys, too. So, okay. So, what, anything else? Um, uh, gardening might be self-care. To go out and dig in the dirt and to do some things. So, somebody just said um, that. So, but yeah, there's tons of different ways and things to do that we can do for ourselves for self-care. But take that time out and then intentionally bring on that mindset of self-care so that you're nourishing yourself while you're doing something for yourself too. Acknowledge that and just really enjoy it. Does that make sense? Don't feel guilty about having self-care, okay? And self-care doesn't have to cost a ton of money too. Well, there's so many different things that we can do for self-care. Okay, you guys, I am so excited. So I've got to also do this in the peach colorway. We have four different colors in this colorway. There's three different shades of the coral. 
and then there's the white that's in that quilt um, combination. Okay, Matt, um, I don't know if you can see on there, if, if you can find people to do as winners, and I'm going to put on my reading glasses so I can see some people that are making comments and stuff on Instagram. In fact, let me bring this camera closer. You guys can probably see what this looks like. Um, yes, I know, yay for Luke. I'm so happy that he's reading because if I die, he'll really be able to take care of himself. I have no plans of dying, right, you know, and nothing like that. So anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and let's have three people on, um, on Facebook. And how about two people on Instagram? And let's do, um, how about one or two on um, YouTube? Um, Matt, Matt's over there. He'll decide people over there. I hate deciding. I hate deciding. I really do. Okay, so you guys, thanks for all the sweet comments. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that we've got someone that's made a comment just, um, just recently so I can, so I know that they're for sure on. Okay, so let's do Karen. Um, it says Karen Rear dot dragonfly, dragonfly and lily pads. Let's have you win one of these and let's do Sister Lee's quilting. So I think you guys are on right now on Instagram. And I'm, did you write those down by chance? I'm going to write those down. I didn't okay. Write those down. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to forget things because we want to. So what you do is direct message me with your, um, email address and all of that. So Sister Lee's quilting. And I want to get down the um, username, and I'll announce the YouTube. Hold on. So Karen Rear, okay, at Dragonfly and Lily Pads. Dragonflies and Lily Pads. Okay, got it. Okay, so let me just make sure I have that right. Okay, good. So on YouTube, we've got Robin Bowler. Good job. And on Facebook, we've got Randy K. Silva, Sue Gallagher, Gallagher and Beth Russell. Okay, you guys, this is too fun. This is too, too fun. So I don't know where any of you guys live. Well, Matt chose these names too. So go ahead and, oh, let me put down what they won. They won the enamel pin. And what is today's date? Because we, uh, 319. So you guys, this has been the month of, um, um, been the month of, National Quilting. We had National Quilting Day on Sunday, but this is the month of National Quilting Month. And so I am going to be celebrating this now that we have the three camera view down. I am going to be celebrating National Quilting Month with lots of live videos. And I love to give things away while I'm doing these. In fact, maybe we'll have to do some of the Modern Quilt Guild fabric, maybe Matt, for the challenge that's going on. That's the Riley Blake. And um, so I'm going to be doing lots of live, just mini live videos throughout the next couple weeks or throughout the next, the rest of March. So hopefully we'll do one tomorrow. And um, so if you have ideas for live videos that you'd like to see, because we won't be doing as much about this, but we will be giving more self-care tips throughout each week with all of the live videos. So, so gather up all your self-care ideas and suggestions and things like that and put them in and get them ready for the next live video. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Turn on your post notifications so you can see when I go live because I sure love to give free things every day and just put a positive vibe out there in the world. So anyways, we're so excited and please try to get your, your blocks done. If you're late and you haven't gotten things done, it doesn't matter. I've got more prizes coming out for those that have been posting everything. And, um, and so it'll be fun to see everything that you guys are getting, but, um, try to get your blo blocks up, take pictures of them and post them on your platform of choice. So if you're on Instagram, use the hashtag live well, live strong quilt. Um, if you're on Facebook, post it in the everyone can quilt quilt group and on YouTube, uh, just send me your things, you know what I mean? And I can't wait to see all of your beautiful blocks and beautiful quilts. So anyways, we'll see you guys a little bit later and have fun.